Have you ever ended up with shit in your mouth? Yes, unfortunately. We're probably gonna dump about a thousand gallons of waste. Oh man, this is kind of gnarly. Oh shit, there's a bottle. You gotta go in there and get it. The hole right here? Yeah, That's right the shithole? I am about to unleash the shit. Oh, God. I've been working in media for the past decade. It's been great, but it's time to experience some other professions. That's why I'm here at rent a throne a porta potty rental company in Queens. They've agreed to take me on as an intern for the day so I can see what it's like to pump crap out of hundreds of porta potties. That one still like, seems like it almost has a little bit of uh, shit on the handle. To start my day off, I'm working under Casper, who refurbishes the porta potties after they come back from service in the field. So, in a way, are you kind of the last person the porta potty sees before it's kind of like back into circulation? Oh yeah, definitely. What do you usually like have to deal with? Uh, everything: tampons in the in the urinals, crap all over the walls, people crapping on the floors. It's a real uh, crap storm. And I guess just I gotta ask: um, Do you ever like get um, like? Crap on me? Every crap day. On. Every day. Crap, blood, dodging syringes. You're trying to get stuff out and all of a sudden something pops up and shoots past you. Occasionally come across a dead rat or something. It's a dangerous job. Maybe do you have an extra pair of gloves sure. or? You want to go over to the one with the uh, crap on the floor? Get to I that mean, one I first? I guess you might as well, uh, I guess, you know. Oh man, this is kind of gnarly. There is a shit stain in one area looking me right in the eye. Oh man, fuck. I just got all this shit water down my glove. <laughs> Here, how about this? You hold the door open for me for a sec, and I'll, I'll take care of this shit thing. Do you enjoy what you do? I love it. I like dirty jobs. To me, they're more fun. I don't want to sit in the office all day. I'd rather be out here just doing what I do. I think I'm about to hire you. This is awesome. There you go. Welcome to the team. With their slogan, we treat you like royalty, Rent-A-Throne has sought to stand out in the competitive porta potty business for decades. They even made a Game of Thrones themed promo video. I sat down with company partners Carlos and Angela to learn more about managing the operation. So nice to meet you, thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Cool, so I guess maybe we could just start off by just telling me a little bit about um, exactly what you do here. Sure, definitely. Uh, we rent out porta potties. That's that's our focus. Got and the the waste from the construction people. Like the you focus on like the, the actual. Um, we dump them. It's not as easy as flushing a toilet. Or pumping out the waste. <laughs> that's for sure. Got it. It's almost like a bad clog or something. It's. it's mm-hmm. So what was your question? I guess just like, is that true? Do you guys notice that? That is true. That's what people like about us. Your porta potty isn't full of crap. It's almost as if you're at home using a porta potty. With a vague sense of how the business works, I'm teaming up with Justin, the operations manager. Justin manages the multiple drivers who go all around New York pumping out the porta potties. So is this truck right now pretty much filled with um, waste? With waste. Yes, it really is. Justin is going to show me how to clean the porta potties while they're in use at construction sites, festivals, and who knows where else. Release the valve right here. So that gives it suction. Now it's going to start to suck. Oh shit, there's a bottle. If they don't have a garbage on the site, yeah. then you just move it to the side. Can't look scared, bro. You got to go in there and get it. Do I try to suck the gunk up or, gunk up or do I have to handle the gunk? And suck it all up. With that? Yeah. Okay, let's put it here for now. Good. All right. Is that it for no, now? No, you're far from done. So what you're going to do is you want to put the blue chemical in it. That's good, bro. Don't be scared, bro. It's just water. Just got to knock it out. That's what the hat's for. Some of this stuff is really hard to get out. It's like... It's built up calcium, bro. It's like hardened urine. Oh, God. What do you do when you get high up, man? You try to, like, dodge it or just fuck it? There you go. Now it's looking like you love your job. Put it back in the hole. So now let's go to the shit dump. The shit dump? Yeah. How much um, 
waste do you estimate today? Uh, today, I say we're probably gonna dump about a thousand gallons of waste. Do you like what you do? I like it. You gotta love it to do this, to be honest with you. Anybody that's in this position, it's not even about liking, it's about loving after a while. Because I'm telling you, the shit gets real. When you get out there, you deal with shit. Uh, you deal with a lot of bullshit too. Customers, uh, toilets, uh, picked out people, wallets, cell phones, cans, clothing. I actually found someone's whole outfit one time. A whole outfit covered in shit piss. <laughs> so let's get this party rolling. So I notice you're rocking boots and I'm wearing shoes. Am I fucked right now that I'm you're wearing? Much fucked. You're fucked because you're wearing shorts too and white socks. All right, so you can just grab the hole for me right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna show you how to put it on. The hole right here? Uh, yeah, it's the hole That's right That's the shithole? So is this basically just a hole in the ground at the end of a cul-de-sac? Yeah, pretty much. Where all the shit, shit goes. goes. Yeah. Um, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells like fucking death. I am about to uh, unleash the shit into the ground. Ugh. Is it alright to straddle it? Is it okay? Yeah, as long, long as the shit don't go everywhere on you. How the fuck? <laughs> Oh, there you go, there you go. It's going? Yeah, you gotta go, bro. It's dumping right now. That thing's fucking hard, man. <laughs> I'm not that weak. It's like awkward, too. With my day coming to an end, it's time to get a performance review. Justin's evaluation could make or break my fate in the industry. Do I really have what it takes to make it as a porta potty professional? As the day kind of comes to an end, um, just want to ask, did everything go smooth on your end with just my, uh, you know, yeah, I think help or I actually it is. think you would qualify for working here. I think you'd be great actually. You got the the personality. You know, as long as the job's done, you're good and you seem to be able to handle shit very well. Well thank you. Yeah. Is there any kind of just I guess just tips like how to improve anything you saw out there? Straight dive into the shit. That's pretty much it. Just straight dive in. Thanks again, man. It's the end of my time here at Rent a Throat. I feel as if I've given it my all. After you clean all the shit out of a toilet, it's rewarding to think that I myself would sit here because there's no better feeling than walking into a clean bathroom. It seems like you hold a lot of power when it comes to the future of the thrones. You're almost like a god in a way. Shitty God. <laughs> <laughs>